I would like to suggest that if we're going to um, actually do what Christ wants us to do and, and engage the world at large in a way that reflects his love, but particularly the people that are most marginalised and disadvantaged, that we need to be converted all over again. Hmm? <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. Okay. These are categories that you may be familiar with. Who do we tend to put first? Just generally. Ourselves. That's right. <laughs> Who do we put, tend to put last? Others. Okay. So we become a Christian. Now we know we're meant to actually concert be, to care for others. Who do we tend to put first among the others? And then who do we tend to put last? Yes, those that we relate to. So people that are like us. Um, so either are like us or do like us. <laughs> right? <laughs> the ones that it's easier for us to relate to. So, yeah. And we develop whole schools of mission around that. Kind of homogeneous church growth, for example. Okay. So, uh, and then we relate to people that are not like us last or who don't like us. <laughs> All right? Is that right? But say we get filled with the Spirit, okay, right? We, and, and we're no longer a nice middle-of-the-road evangelical Christian. Now we're a super-duper charismatic or Pentecostal Christian, okay? And now we are going to go for it, and we're going to relate to these people who don't like us, right? And who are not like us, right? Um, and a lot of the mission in the world today is coming out of charismatic and Pentecostal groups, crossing those divides. Who do we tend to relate to first out of that group? And who do we tend to relate to last? Those we can those. make like us. <laughs> Thank you. Those that we can make like us. So, so that, that's very good. So the, let me just slightly change the language. The people that we feel hopeful about... Um, and so we get whole um, uh, schools of mission around responsive populations, right? So we invest with the hope that we'll get a return of our, on our time and energy and money, right? Isn't that right? And the ones we relate to last are the hopeless. The people Jesus called the least. Now, we may, as evangelical Christians and charismatic Christians, have those people on our agenda. The reality is, when it comes to operating, more often than not, we just never get around to relating to them. Because they're not our priority. We'd like to help if we could, but we just never have the time or energy or money to do it. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? What Jesus calls us to do is to put the last first and the first last. Are you familiar with that terminology? Now for me, that is a profound conversion. Hmm? For most of us, it requires being converted all over again. To put the people at the bottom of the heap on the top of our priorities requires a profound conversion.